Good evening again, fellow collectors. Still December 20th, 2009. And I decided to do a second video tonight. This one on some of the Coach's Corner auction listings. And the first one, lot number 669, is a very interesting auction listing. Authenticated by guess who? Chris. I never saw an autograph I didn't like. Morales. Lot number 669 contains, on some kind of loose leaf paper or something, five signatures of crew members from the Titanic. Yes, the one that went down April 15th, 1912. The signatures of E.J. Smith, Edward J. Smith, captain who went down with the Titanic. And four surviving crew members, Harold Lowe, Herbert Pittman, Charles Lightoller, and Joseph Boxall. I hope I pronounced those names correctly. Two questions for Mr. Morales. What exemplars did he use to authenticate these five signatures? Number two, to the consigner. Why the heck, if these are authentic, didn't you send these off to, let's say, heritage auctions and get some real money if these signatures are authentic? I have no idea whether they're authentic forgeries or what. I have no idea. But only Coach's Corner presents unique listings like this that fetch little, if no money, for an item like this. I want to know. What exemplars Morales used to authenticate these five signatures? That's my main question to Morales. All right, let's go to lot number 601, authenticated by the Clowns of Authentication, Stat Authentic, Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens. And as usual, every month, they have at least one Beatles signed item signed by all four Beatles. Here it is, a $10,000 to $15,000 item which at right now the bidding's at a whopping $223. Beetle fans, Beetle collectors, Beetle experts know that these autographs, all four of them, are forgeries. Every month, Coach's Corner has this kind of garbage up every single month. Sometimes they've got two or three Beetle sign items. Unbelievable. Always fetching one-tenth to one-twentieth of what they would fetch if they were authentic, of course. And I remember a couple of videos ago, I was talking about Coach's Corner and all their cut autographs and why their uh, real, real vintage autographs aren't with a letter, a document, a note, like a John and Wilkes Booth. They're always signatures of uh, Ulysses Grant or Abe Lincoln or George Washington, always cut, never connected to a letter. All of a sudden, this month, they've got some of these signatures related and connected to a letter. Unbelievable. The first one here I'm going to show you is Christy Mathewson. Little short note letter from Christy Matthewson. And of course, it's a fake. Lot number 19. Authenticated by, yes, stat. Up to a whopping $128. A fake Christy Matthewson. Everybody knows how rare a Mr. Matthewson signature autograph is. They never go for anything on the Coach's Corner auction site because they're always a forgery. Because those clowns over there, Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens, maybe they know what they're doing, maybe they don't. Either way, that's a forgery. Now, let's go to this really, really ugly one by Morales. Lot number 222. 1933 All-Star signed baseball by the likes of uh, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Lefty Grove, Bill Dickey, Tony Lazari, etc., etc. None of those signatures are authentic. We're not past any major authentication service. Those are horrible autographs on that baseball. And look at it. It's bright white. Oh, boy. Remember in that last, uh, what was that auction? That FDR auction where it read that uh, because the ball had 50-year-old age spots that it's ironclad authentic, but yet they have these Babe Ruth autograph baseballs that are bright white. They must be forgeries, right? All right. Now, this is an interesting one I want you to show you guys. Lot number 15, a Babe Ruth signed letter, supposedly from 1932. Now, authenticated by, yes, Chris, I never saw an autograph, I didn't like Morales. Now, look at this. Without even using his little old microscope, you can tell that the contents of the letter and the signature are penned by two different people. If you go to the auction site and look at that, you can see the letter and the signature are penned by two different people. You're going to tell me Morales... You, being a so-called forensic expert, a handwriting expert, you couldn't tell that that document 
is penned by two different people? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. The people are bidding in that garbage. Here's another really, really ugly forgery of Abe Lincoln, lot number four. Again, connected with a letter all of a sudden. We get all these letters all of a sudden that are connected with these vintage, vintage autographs. And when I say vintage, vintage, I mean like Abe uh, Lincoln, Alexander Hamilton, uh, George Washington, Ben Franklin, etc., etc. And I am showing all of these signatures to her historical society people who maybe will get back to me. And I can tell you right now, they will find this one very ugly, authenticated by... It's even dated, for crying out loud. How convenient is that? It's dated April 2nd, 1865. Wow, how convenient. Now, another Morales specialty. Check this one out. Lot number 531, 1927 Yankees signed inside of a book cover or something like that. Now, the Babe Ruth and the Lou Gehrig are obvious forgeries, but there's a player signature on there, Eddie Phillips. Eddie Phillips played one year with the Yankees. 1932! So why would this be on a Yankees 1927 signature list? Tell me. Morales, do you do your homework? Do we even look at this stuff in person? Eddie Phillips only played for the Yankees in 1932. He was no, he was not part of the 1927 Yankees. Not to mention the Babe Ruth and the Lou Gehrig are forgeries 100%. And this one I'm going to bring up lot number 256. This is like the sixth Albert Einstein signed baseball that I've seen on the Coach's Corner auction site. Most of Albert Einstein's signatures were on letters, documents, and books. How does Coach's Corner get now this is the sixth one that I've seen on the sweet spot of a baseball. Isn't that interesting? Authenticated by, look at that, Chris Morales. Wow. And let's look at one more item while I'm in the mood. Lot number 680. A really bad Lou Gehrig forgery authenticated by, guess who? Stat Authentic, Ted Taylor, Jeff Stevens. Yes, that is a really, really ugly and bad Lou Gehrig forgery. Very, very terrible. Ted Taylor and Jeff Stevens. Anyway... Uh, later in a week, before Christmas, I guess, I'll be doing another Coach's Corner. But, you know, like I said, they got more vintage uh, stuff out there. Like, they have a, uh, another Amelia Earhart signature out there. It's got no bids on it. Zero. They've got another George Washington out there. They have a second Abraham Lincoln out there. They have other. I mean, it's incredible what they got every single month. Nobody else has this stuff but Coach's Corner. And they all sell for between one-tenth and one-twentieth of what they should sell for. But some of this stuff is common sense stuff like that 1927 Yankees listing of signatures with Eddie Phillips and Eddie Phillips, Chris Morales, played for the Yankees in 1932. I'll see you guys later in a week.